Okay, strap in. Masuta wants blood. SDY goes in. It's Chopper to take the first headshot of IEM Beijing. But it's all smoke and mirrors. Mir confirms that A is still a threat. Apex has won the duel on long, and now they've got some space to stretch their legs and plant their bomb. All right, well, let's start setting up for this post-plant situation here. Library, SDY, he's going to fall. Zywu takes him down, and it's just two men remaining. There's no way back in here, but I disbalance does find a nice headshot. That could at least see them limping on in for some aggression. Oh, another one. Magics. Oh, RPK needs this balance cleanly. Gets him. Magics continues. He's on for a third here. He's got time for a fake. Needs a clean headshot. Navira clutches up on his first round of play. V Vitality will take the T pistol. That one was a bit sketchy. Yeah. Now, quickly, we didn't talk about Spirit at all. There no. was so much to cover there with Vitality and the six man roster and the chopping and the changing and all those bits and pieces. But what we do need to focus on is Team Spirit. There's two factors for me. Mir, he has to have a good game. These guys played two months ago exactly on the 6th of September and Mir across all three maps, which was a series Spirit 1, was an absolute superstar. 92 rounds of Counter-Strike was played over those three. It was Mirage, Inferno, Dust 2. We're not getting Mirage here today, getting Nuke instead. But let's see if Mir can continue that form. The second factor, I didn't want to see them going for the same gimmicks, Alex. When we've covered Spirit in the past, we saw Magics in this exact position yeah. on the Force Buys doing this exact same thing. I was hoping to see a little bit more diversity in the play of Spirit here today. Maybe it'll come. It's still early stages. But look, they're prepping nades right now. If he gets naded... That's Magic's cooked. It's so predictable. Oh, no! Three nades and bye-bye Magic's. They're going to hit B. This is what I'm talking about, right? Spirit, you've been playing with the big boys for some time now. Your little tricks of the trade, they're going to be figured on out. And Vitality have shown you that two rounds into the game. They've cracked the case, or at least the second round forced by case. Now pushing in. That's good nade damage. It does soften them up, but Chopper's going to get sprayed on down into the site, the Galil's connecting. Now, unfortunately, it's just not a setup for a retake. What's Disbalance going to do with an auto shotgun? Maybe try and farm some kills for the AWP, yep. but he's gone down, so that's been dropped to the floor. And this is a good time where we can potentially start talking about some of these changes for Vitality and what it means. Now, the CT side is what really excites me, Alex, and I want to I, I want to preface it before we get there for everybody at home. Vitality CT side on Inferno by having Navira coming in doesn't just mean he slots into Shox's positions. What he's actually done is taken the arch role, which was where Zywu was playing, and Zywu has been put over towards B in place of RPK. RPK is an anchor who's now been moved towards Pit. So all these pieces, right, it sounds like a lot of moving parts, but once we get there, once I start explaining it and why, RPK as an A defender with Masuta, they're going to plant their feet. Previously, when it was Shox and Zywu on A, both in flux, constantly moving around. Apex on the B side, constantly moving around as well. I love this change because it means when we get to the CT side, Zywu can solo B, Apex can rotate wherever the damn hell he wants. Right. RPK and Masuta lock down quad and pit, and Nevera gets to AWP. He does the primary AWPing on the CT side on that arch side, and he's very flexible. So that's something that I want to see how it works against Spirit as uh, we move further into this game. But round number three, and it should just be the save coming through from Spirit here. So nothing too exciting, just some USPs, a nade, and flashbangs. See what they plan to do with it. It is currently a three-man lean towards B, and they have a flash in Chopper, a nade in Magics. It could certainly find them a frag, maybe even a rifle if RPK gets a bit too peaky with his... Oh, that's good. That nade's going to hurt. Two of them, in fact. Magix is not again. Oh, two rounds in a row. He's been bowled over. The Deagle does connect into the belly buttons, and Mir's managed to get away with two frags. No rifle, but Magix gobbling up HEs, stacked HEs towards his standard positions. That's nasty. With two frags from Mir, maybe... Maybe they can find something here. There are two players set up on A, and it is SDY with an armored Deagle. Mir's arrived, but he's gone. And quick early exit, and that's only one for SDY. Navira could, but doesn't. Tag down to 20. And now with the bomb plant and three rounds to their name, Vitality are ready for the first buy of the Team Spirit roster. We'll get the M4s. He's going to keep that Galil as they continue to farm some cash. Let's see that first one real clean into the head of Apex. And then swinging out with some nice control. Two to the upper center of mass. We're into our fourth round of play. The AWP is out. Disbalance is dead -y on the AWP, and it's certainly going to be interesting to see how much impact he finds with that mid-peak. It looks like he's going for the play. Jumping across? What are you thinking? Oh, just patrolling. Yeah, holding that tight line. So if anybody swings out wide without flashes, he gets a free kill right there, but Banana's where the Not presence again. is. Not again. Okay, no one's there oh, this they get time. Dunked. More triple nades, and the spray actually leaves Vitality wounded. Two of them make it one of them gets away. 
And as Apex caught on the tail end, Chopper just peppers him down to finish the early damage. Nevira's operating at just 11. That's no fun for anyone. And now, well, the numbers favor Team Spirit. RPK could gobble this flash, Chopper wants aggression. He's gonna get full blind and executed. Clean as you like from Team Spirit. Should be a Spirit round with Nevera so low. Difficult way back in, but Zywoo's still alive. They get top mid control for free. Team Spirit now playing the percentages, turtling on up. Oh, this is no fun for Masuta. Smoke all fade, disbalance, trained on long. And that's the first Zywoo caught just as it fades. Is he ready for Masuta though? Could walk up for some pressure. Their only real hope, their only chance of any sort of impact is this Masuta swing. <gasps> Did he see the pit player? He doesn't. Magics will be vulnerable. And he hits oh. the shot. Galil's inaccurate, gets the second thanks to Navira. Suddenly, two frags in the feed, a 2v5 for two newcomers. It's an orbit and AK, should be. And it is. Well, HP player given DWP, Bogdan's Law strikes here in 2020. Masuta to try and finish off the round. Navira to find the bomb plant. 20 seconds, they drop it over. Masuta might actually get the bomb down here. They're giving it a good go, Chad. This is winnable. If Masuta plants and Navira holds the arch side control. Oh my God, it requires some good shooting from Masuta. Short presence, there's still a pit player, and that's what Masuta's looking for. The duel's not won. And now just a 10 HP, Navira with an AWP. Rather save it. He won't likely get away with it, though. First shot hits. There's so much more where that came from, though. What can you do, young man? He's pushing on Graveyard. He's still paranoid about long two left. Bomb tick, and he is going to be pushed. A no-scope may be his only way out. Close, and SDY confirms it. Team Spirit, though, forced to sweat. Wow, that one got very dicey. It should uh, probably never have gotten that close. And the plant, well, that's even better for Vitality. So Team Spirit do win the round. They'll be happy to hold that AWP and drop that across to our disbalance. But some wobbles early. And we know this is a Team Vitality map pick. Team Spirit on their CT sides, they've had some woes. A lot of CIS teams that we've covered, their CT sides don't look fantastic. If Team Spirit have been working hard on this one, maybe crack the nut. But we noticed within the first two rounds of play, they're still going back into those same old tricks. Magic's boosted up towards that porch side, getting naded. That was a clear counter from Vitality. They know what to expect. So let's see just how much punishment they can put down here against Team Spirit. UMP for Magics. Everyone else has what they need. AK's back up for Vitality and RPK. Up banana in the smoke. Will he get flashed through? Yes, he will. Okay, but nothing found. They still really want to contest that. Oh, oh and another oh. successful nade chopper. Chunked down to 50. I hate to think what their utility damage within these first five rounds of play is. It must be nuts. I have sad news, by the way, guys. Rush's microphone's broken, so you will not be getting your Observer rounds. Oh, no. I know. It's all falling apart. It's all falling apart at the seams. But it's day one, and Chopper once more. He's aggressing. There should be a flash, I assume. No, he's coming in dry. Costs him. And Magix actually manages to get not only a frag with the UMP, but he's got back. Good spray. Mir takes one. Zywoo is into the site, though, and so is Vitality. Disbalance. Magix rotating. Held at back by the flames. Not anymore. Extinguished. And the patience of Zywoo does pay off. Bomb down. Shaves a couple of seconds off the clock. And Disbalance and SDY. This feels like a save call, Chad. Should be. I think they're just going to hang around, see if they're greeted with anybody getting a little bit too hungry. But they know better than that. So falling back, I just bounce an SDY need to hold on to these saved rifles. That orb can be potent round after round, and I wouldn't even mind if they continue to buy around it. You can try and use him a little bit more forward in these future rounds, set him up, maybe have an SMG with him to bait for him. 2400 though, what does that put them on? I mean, Chopper's going to be feeling the worst of it. Everything else doesn't seem too shabby in Vitality. While well, they're set for another successful T round, four to one will be the score, first map. Yeah, so taking a look at, at the potential buy here, the reasons that I can start making an argument around two set guns, especially when one of your star players is an AWP and he has the big green across, is that if you can set him up and you can find some kills, the SMGs and pistols are still serviceable. If you have that utility, you have a smoke, you're able to drop that down. Oh, nice shot there from Navira. I like that. The molly, he didn't expect it to be respected. Good work from Zywoo to confirm the round. It was Magics that could have been the spanner in the works. So let's just take a look. They've been able to cobble together a buy, and it's not actually that bad. Dude, look at Apex. Again. I reckon we might be having something special here. He knows there's no helmets. He's opted for a, a, a genuine optional MAC-10. What's his plan with that? Swinging up banana? Oh, it's disbalanced to bring the fight. Masuta cut down to size with an early banana aggression. And, oh, no way! On the retrieval! Just as he looks to grab the AK upgrade, a bullet through the wall. Ouch! Team Spirit certainly looking for a second here. But I remember the 2v5. I saw yeah. how close that got. And there's still a bunch of utility left over. So Banana, it's been given up.
Vitality don't know that they could get it for free right now. They got an AK out of that as well. Wait, what? How? Why has SDY got an AK as, voice as 7? They carried across one of the so, Oh, that was the safe yeah. rifle with the disbalance orb. But okay. it looks like they want to go for the orb in transition. You can see now I disbalance rotating across. It might be too little too late. They're rounding that corner any second now. He's trained in. In transition, this is a problem. He's good, he's good now. Safe. And he can look at long. It is going to be busy. Oh. And he plucks Nevera from the crowd. He wants a repeat. He's expecting the flashes. The flash comes from his teammate. Does not find the shot, but three frags. Dispense has done enough. He's 1B. He's 1A. Zai was going for the wraparound. Mir is ready. Tucks in on the sandbags position. The silenced M4. Not the dream rifle for this fight. It has to be precise. And they're going to smoke it. He's just going to have to sit there, expect it. Chopper does look to contest. A gray screen for the flashes there. Should be a trade. RPK handed a one versus five. He's got the first. I don't really feel too positive about it. I'm sure he doesn't either. Mir, take, could draw him out. Needs a clean one. Can't find it. So Spirit, it does always feel like Vitality have got something. Yeah. Yeah, that was a nice round from my disbalance. Now, look, the, the shot through the wall, uh, he, hmm. that's, you know, you, you're taking a chance and we paid off with it. Now, this is what I was talking about, using your AWPer aggressively. I disbalance traditionally playing over towards that A bomb site. They use them over towards B. They find those opening picks and they're able to quell Vitality within the early stages. No plants in a round like this for Vitality it means that money woes are starting to build, three of which shouldn't be able to purchase no problems, two having to have a bit of a discussion. And those two would be RPK down to the P250. And Apex with the Galil. I have banana aggression again. No smoke this time. I love the deep. Brazen. You have a deep molly from mid, and you have a, your own from banana. Suddenly, banana, you don't have to throw too much. It's yours. As long as the T's weren't there to contest, and they weren't. So a deep smoke banana and complete loss of half of the map control. Vitality are in a bit of a box here. They have their apps. Spirit are aware of that, and they have no idea what awaits them on the other side of this smoke. I wonder if Apex is going to look for that and how willing Magix is to contest for that. For now, though, App's presence continues to grow, and the bomb being in the T-Apps is a bit of an implication as to where this bomb will finish off, but no, I see a bit of a shake-up here. Look at Zaiwu. He's starting to relocate. Oh, I just found is searching as well, so they're staying active within these mid-rounds. A minute left on the clock. Any map territory they think they might have taken is gone. Nidus Bounce misses a shot there. Oh, his timing is so impeccable, though. Unfortunately, the aim wasn't there to back it up, but he did just manage to again peek out as Vitality was starting to manifest a bit of a group. Now then, Magic's boosted up on the second oranges. I'd be scared to hit B. They throw out their smokes. Fake. It is, and Chopper's the one to back away from short. He makes a sound. Kumasuit is hunting that, aware and paranoid of the foiler. That's the frag they needed. They're going to start to swarm in. It's just SDY. What can you do elsewhere? Mir has found his demise and Masuta's opened up the A site. This should be the save call made and now Nivira happily planting as Vitality have managed to make a bit of a sketchy round. Not neat and tidier. Yeah, so for those people who didn't catch the action off screen, RPK actually committed all the way into the B bomb site. You can see his dead body right in front of you there. That sold the fake, caused the rotation and secured the round for Vitality. Apex will go down, but at least he's worked out where these final two players are. And it looks like they want to lock them in. So Zaiwu making sure they can't exit down through Banana, but they can't risk the chase. You can see at the moment, very safe, Masuta and Nevera, making sure they're not overcommitting, not giving away any of their weapons, allowing Spirit to hang on to their guns, carrying that through. Should see them be able to force again that AWP once more for Ida's balance. A similar save as what we saw a couple of rounds ago. The scoreline two to five in favor of Team Vitality on the T side there, map choice. And yeah, committing to the fake like that, actually having RPK going in, getting a kill, even better. The P250, and, by the way. Yeah. Um, I don't know if he dropped his rifle so as to not give it over, but it was an interesting choice all the same. Maybe just swapped to his secondary. But now a timeout called, it's Spirit. And you can understand why, Chad, if you look at the numbers, this is just perhaps they're getting everyone on the same page, making sure they've got all the bells and whistles covered. Yeah, I think here Magic can drop across the rifle. I just balance should do the same. They need to get these M4s up and then it's either going to be Chopper or SDY likely to go for a UMP or maybe a Famous. SDY's got some questions to ask himself right now. He hasn't been dropped a gun. Okay, it's going to be the MP9. So that's going to work out if he's going to continue to play towards that quad or hall side. Quite potent. Maybe they want to get more aggressive with it. But I really want to see what they do with Idis Balance. Where are they taking the AWP? He has a mid spawn right now. If he wants to take the fight, Nevera waiting on the other side. For anyone having issues with their quality, I suggest disabling extensions. You might find the quality uh, new tabs available. A Twitch update has changed the... Uh, 
you block cash. But at this point in time, we do have our 5v5 for round eight and the mollies to, wow, really clear out the apartments. Love the trajectory on that one. And heading into the aforementioned SDY MP9. I don't know whether or not they'll find each other though. For now, just a usual battle for map control. Yeah, this is slowing down the pace a bit. And out all this early utility of spirit. Oh, nice. They're taking teams, space mates. here. They are. They're willing to actually push up on that deep smoke. They didn't previously, but Chopper's the one to call Banana Clear, and that's all the information they needed, clearly. They want to head A. Yeah, but Chopper's the one staying with oh. Okay. <laughs> he always gets one. Just balance, just re-aggressing. Just when you feel like the push is coming in, he likes to destabilize it. You see time and time again, Vitality look like they're about to hit the big red button and disbalance says no. Here could be another, they're up. And here comes his peak, just timing it to perfection and not gonna hit the shot this time. Four, make it five versus three. Zai was the one to make the fourth. Maybe there's a way back in here for the French. Zai would need another, they're congregating towards speedway. Apex bringing the bomb round long as well. They've this got time, 29 seconds, very awkward. Mir, I'm not sure you can, they're gonna be checking this. Look at the lockdown from the CTs here, Chad. Good frag. Mir's gonna mop it up, surely Masuta gets him. Have he's they got open. time? B is open. Disbalance and SDY way away. And this 2v4, make it 2v5 at one point, is starting to shape up nicely. Zaiwu made it manageable. I should correct myself. There was initially three of them. Zaiwu did the damage, and now Masuta and Apex are the ones to tie this up and put a bow on it. Look how deep that smoke is. Suddenly, Vitality have made a very unfavorable situation, looking all the better for them. Bomb's going to be halfway ticked by the time that clears. He's even backing away. I don't think SDY wants it. What's he doing? I'm hoping Disbalance would find that Coffin's frag, but now, revealing his location, gets flashed off the line. SDY starts to close the gap. They've got no time for this. He doesn't even have a kit. The kit's on the AWP. Is Disbalance committing? Masuta's found him. SDY oh, on the no. whip. Needs the USP. Can't finish the job. And a messy end to a sixth round for Vitality. They'll be happy with that. Yeah, now the money really is in question for the spirit side. What did he see? I'm staring at the screen. Just a little, little bit of Navira. <laughs> yeah, look, I, I think I just balance is using himself perfectly in these rounds to find the picks. But as soon as Vitality have territory, they always look dangerous. They're able to play off of each other well. It, it's not even a one-man band. They're playing off of each other cohesively and working out the gaps, what the next move's going to be from Spirit. Now the scoreline 6-2 to two in favor of Vitality. We do see Spirit go for a bit of a save. It's a bit of a shame we won't be, get to talk to Rush. We yeah, have to wait I, until the drive home. I heard he's, he's, uh, he's working very tirelessly to uh, resolve Excellent. the situation. I'm sure he is. Yeah. Yeah. He's probably just got uh, MC taking over the whole observing No, dude, right he's now. actually got the, um, you know, like those welding caps he's in the server yeah. room he's doing some welding there's sparks everywhere i i could oh, no, I, I could see rush more doing a little bit of um i'm sure you you would have had it at school too you know you go in with the little uh, what's it called soldering iron oh uh, yeah i can see him doing the soldering i can't see him doing the big boy welding i don't know i, I saw him in a new light with his new uh spectacles that's true he did look like santa claus's son yes oh, there it is that was what i was trying to pinpoint oh <laughs> that was pinpoint yeah can i have another Zaiwu's just knocked the head off Chopper with a lovely pre-fire. One tap, that's the end of Mir. That should be the round. Those speculative shots ain't too far off of the mark. Apex brought down to just 16, but Vitality are into the B site. And, well, the remaining three confirmed by Masuta's T-Ramp presence are coming from CT. Vitality have that information as well. They've even got smokes. Masuta and Avira, if they were concerned, could be dropping them, and they have. On towards the Coffin's position, and the CTs, well, they're getting picked apart. That's a nice one, Navira. Just sending SDY away, swatting away into the fly. Seven rounds on this T side, looking very promising. Now this is a, a big talking point. The fact that Navira is doing the primary orping duties on the T side of a map like Inferno when you have Zywo on your team is something yeah. which I love. And it's something which I think should be, <laughs> look, if you could get control of it, a similar way to use simple. Now a lot of people at home probably are gonna be like, yeah, but he was better since Guardian's no longer in the team. Like I'm talking about simple right now. I know, now you're, I know side yeah. of things. But I genuinely think that players who are as good as Zywu and simple, who you can use, if you're the coach, you get to put them wherever you want on the map. You get them to use whatever weapon you want. You can just say, go kill or lock this down or crowd control like here. <laughs> that helps, yeah. It, I think that because Zaiwu and Simple are so good, having them restricted to one role or one weapon actually takes away how good they can possibly be. Because if I need a can opener, 
right? I need someone to run a banana with an AK. I'm sending Zywa or Simple because I know that mechanically they're so good. But no. if I need somebody to be the AWP in the back lines and get me to, well, I want Zywa and Simple as well. I want to have the flexibility. I want to have the choice. I see what you're saying. And perhaps even that star AWP is a bit of a misnomer because perhaps that when the capabilities of a star AWP are had, it's better to have you as that diverse rifler who wants to get the AWP when he needs it. Now, for now, that T-side AWP is still on Navira's hands. And so we get to see more of that Zywa rifling action. Navira fires off a shot, evades the flash, but oh. they do, do not evade the nade. Oh, and more arrives on the pack of Vitality. They are traveling as a five-man unit. SDY is looking for info. He confirms there's nothing there, and they start to panic boost. Chopper will be up, and he'll be nicely evading the flashes. You can see that. Just let's go as Crouch Key to have a completely clean screen and look at the benefits. Just the one. Mir finishes the job and he nearly gets a triple. Double kill into the site. We have a 2v3 established. It's Navira to try and play ahead of his own smoke. I like it. I like the games he's playing. But it's not an easy shot to hit. And Apex has got the responsibility he had another supporting smoke. him. He just picked it up off the floor. You're right. Apex has another smoke and a Molotov. And that's the shot Navira was hunting. Looking for the hunt. Oh, it's a tag. Magic's brought down to 21. Apex has burnt his util a little pa panicked, perhaps, because the Molly extinguish. They're coming in from coffins. Here's them. Needs a clean one here on the first. Could get swung on. Anticipating it. They're not looking. He gets him and gets away. 32 HP. Time is not, is not on the side of Magic's and a lovely clutch. Apex brings it home. Eight for Vitality. They didn't even consider it. They didn't even think that was How an peculiar. option. Yeah. Yeah, time and pressure and team spirit drop another round. So eight to two now in favor of Vitality. They're running away with this one. And Spirit have opted to take a tactical timeout, their second use so far. And all Apex needed to do at this point was dance around, just waste as much time as possible and secures a big one. Massive one-on-two situation there, but that was facilitated by Navira. You noticed as he was running to that coffin's position, he drops the smoke. That sound cue, baiting the CTs to think there's no way that there's a guy in construction if they've just smoked off towards the coffin's position. Aggressive, takes the fight, a little bit unlucky not to get that second. And with the scores on the doors here, look at the fragging right now for Vitality. Everybody with a minimum of 65 ADR Damn. plus. You've got everybody around similar kills. You've got RPK down the bottom with six, but the top is the guy who's actually and down I, the bottom of the score. I'll remind you how that round started. Three members of Vitality were down to 30 HP. Right. They caught two nades in the, mo the business end of two nades. And now look at this. Oh, it's horrible. Spirit are swallowing a bit of pill here. They will buy down to 2K. They'll whip out as many HEs. Hope they get the stack. Let's not forget that it's been the stack nades of Vitality that have had some potency. And that nade's doing nothing. $600 squandered of their minimal investment. And heading up second middle. Haven't seen much of an A action, actually. This could be uh, SDY's time to shine. I don't have high expectations for the uh, Kevlar vest CZ. Yeah, they need one of those multi-kill rounds to come out from somebody on Team Spirit here, but that's only going to happen if Vitality approach the situation a little bit lackadaisically. Yeah, they're clean as hell right now. It's actually a, a bit of a pleasure to watch. Even that five-man T-side just walking up banana, you rarely see that one pay off to such a clean degree from Apex, and that's the start they needed. Chopper okay. has got it and got away. Mir unchecked as well. They're being loud about this. Chopper's trying to bait in Mir, and it might work. Nivira caught off. This is working wonderfully. And another shot connects. He said they need a multi-kill. Chopper's provided it. Not going to get the triple. Zywu ensures survival. But a two versus three established. And these Deagles, HEs, a save of sorts. It's one of Spirit's best chances. Can Vitality pick this one and convert it, though? It is a distinct disadvantage. Magic's looking for They're info. So close to they are other. right next to each other. One middle and one towards that boiler position. Will Masuta catch him or will Magix have false info here? If Zywa comes back, knife out, he's dead. Oh, Masuta's going to ring around the Rosie. Yeah, and now Zywa's screwed. Knife out, just as you predicted. Awkward now for Masuta and Magix is <laughs> clean and precise into the final frag. He's trying to get the AK to his teammate. Not going to happen, but a nice round all the less. That is exactly what Spirit needed. And that was dictating the pace of the round, right? They took the fights on the base of Banana Heat. You can see this crossfire established by Mir and Chopper. And, and the fact that they were able to delay them for this long as well, the, the clock getting melted down, just meant that the pressure always was going to be on the vitality side of things. There was more players that had no idea where they would be. At these low buys, the CTs take more risks. They get a bit more pushy. And that's exactly how they pulled this one off. Now, moving into the next gun round, will we see more of that aggression? We know Idis Balance has found a couple of openings with the AWP. Flashed off the line. Doesn't get the chance. And look at that. Early damage again. Okay, they're lining up something special. Fast smokes towards A. I'm always intrigued to know if this is going to be 
a fake or a full commitment disbalance he's caught off not going to be having his impact early this time because he's been forced to pull out his utility tuck in he's been smoked off as well long is vitalities as they deploy a lot of util and bodies to demand that control even the rotate off b everyone's on the way to the party and disbalance finds the line he needed still gets the impact getting hunted and fragged masuta finds him doesn't look to linger he sees the barrel of the reload knows mir is in graveyard and it forces out the nade navira dunks him chopper pressured nade could finish him off looks very promising it's actually a rpk Falling in the end and four for Spirit as they happen simultaneously. Two frags in the end for Spirit on that A defense. So they're closing the gap, Chad. If yeah. we can get an 8-7, we've got a competitive game here. Not too shabby. That's a very respectable scoreline considering how this one started. Taking a look right now at the economy situation for Vitality. Apex, he opted in for a MAC-10 in the previous, which has allowed him to buy into a hero AK-47 with armor. Some Deagles, P250s to go alongside that, but this is technically a save from Vitality. They've been whittled on down in round number 13, and I Balance can take a couple more liberties. Misses the shot, but at least they know that they're working against majority pistols. But Apex has to be the point man here. I refuse to be scared of a Zywoo Glock. I refuse <laughs> to be scared of a Zywoo Glock. I refuse to be scared of a Zywoo Glock. Oh no. Just saying it to himself again and again. He has made noise. He's made it clear this apartment's presence. I don't know what we're expecting to happen here. But uh, should be Spirit continuing to seal the deal. Take a quick look at the utility for Spirit. We have a minute and 10 left, and they're only working with smokes, one Molotov, and a handful of flashes. This jewel he's waiting for. He might. Yeah, no. Multi kill needed. Apex oh. can't find the crosshair. It was SDY swinging in for the trade, and he doesn't quite find it. So now the round peters out to a whimper. It is only Deagles, but Kevlar Vest, the smoke deployed for the take, and it is only the Fnatic smoke in front of the site. And Mir, oh, caught out. Could be a frag. Only one. Oh. Maybe a second. Nivera suddenly has a chance, and it's a big one. That Kevlar Vest suddenly worth its weight in gold. A bomb plant as well. He goes back to his old trusty Coffin's position. Disbalance, closing the gap. SDY into the site. Navira needs a jewel. He needs it now. He can't find it. Down to 11, a dink. But the 8K stronger. Oh, wow, that one got dicey when uh, really the way that that started, that multi-kill to kill towards top of mid probably should have been it. The B defense, weak there. They should never be losing in that kind of a that fashion. That dribble smoke, I mean, it actually paid off really nicely. Gave them a couple of extra lines there to be entering into the site. So it worked out well for all things in the Vitality camp. They will get a very, very strong buy going forward. What are you discussing right now? I suppose this is if they want to go quick again. Because if they want to go fast again, we might see Mac 10s. If they want to go for like a little bit slower, more default based, then the AKs and Orps might come after the purchases. Here's Navira's shot there. Nice one on a chopper. And probably a little bit frustrated that he wasn't able to finish this one off after the dink. Down to 11 points of health was SDY. Survived to tell the story and hold on to that AK 47. Navera hasn't bought yet. Will he be going with the AWP? That's the Okay, so it's AK. So this might be something more execute heavy. If they feel they don't need the orb, you might see them go for maybe banana control. Yeah, I mean, I was just raising my hand because I kind of like the idea of them faking that A. We saw how quickly those B players were ready and willing to just back the hell out. I don't know what their plans are these final two rounds, and I'm certainly interested to see what the mind of Apex is whirring up. Well, an opening frag and the orb are down. Just going for the aggressive peak and Apex more than prepared. Okay. I want to see that from his POV. That yes, could have please. just been a pre-fire because the icon on top of the corner was flashed. So Apex, the in-game leader, massive entry. Leading by example. They're pushing ahead of that. Apex. Oh, what a spray. Magix gets nearly three. He does from the death. Hello. Molotov from the grave strikes. And now Zaiwu waiting and biding his time. He hunts another two heads in a matter of seconds. Puts it all onto Chopper. One versus two. Bomb will be planted. It's RPK. Given the responsibility, but look at the timing. He's actually used that smoke nicely. Really nicely. Chop off with a very winnable 1v2, oh. but Zywoo says no. Three kills. What a lovely set of frags from Vitality Zywoo. Well, they didn't completely break spirit here going into round 15. Scoreline currently sitting in Vitality's favor, 9 to 5. They're on the T side. It is their map choice, but they've won the half and they've done it in commanding fashion. Early stages of this, they were well and truly out of the gates. You could see the counter strating or at least the demo watching being done, punishing some of the tendencies here of Spirit. A middle patch from Spirit, not too bad, but if it's 10-5, Vitality are going to be smiling ear to ear with yeah, that one. Definitely, and I'm a little concerned that they don't really have the util for the Vitality game. Look how little the T's have thrown. 
They can throw a fake, they can throw a double fake, they can do what they want. Starting to see the nades coming out and the little off angles paid off. Apex, not today. Trying to find two opening frags on Banana. He goes a little too aggressive into the spray in the nice stack. We've seen more and more teams go for those on the low util rounds. Well, that was big info. So they knew that two players were postured forward in Banana. They didn't accelerate the attack over towards A. Didn't try and punish those late rotations. Now they just have to work as a team. It's going to be a holes pop with three. Flash is high. Should catch the CY. Not if he's too early. He didn't get flashed at all. Gets two with the MP9. Disbalance just sweeps the rest under the rug. And we've got ourselves a 9-6 half here. RPK working with just half health. Bomb in enemy hands. Mir holding all the lines he needs to. The flank is locked down now by Chopper. Good shooting. RPK takes him off cleanly. Oh, on the barrel. Could have been. It won't. 9-6. Vitality happy with the lead. Spirit, though, closing the gap to a competitive point. We will take a break and we'll continue to see more from Team Vitality and Spirit.
Hello. Okay, we're ready to rock and or roll. It is Team Spirit Vitality's second half. Audio guys are asleep. We'll get over it. And we're ready for that second half to get off to a flying start because Vitality, and albeit with uh, some pizzazz, have had that gap closed on them. It does look like GG.bet, the bookkeepers of this one, certainly do still favor Vitality. And I think I do too, Chad. I'm excited to see Navira's CT positions, as you've already outlined. Yeah, I'm going to get stuck into those when we get to those Ecos. Don't you worry about that. Thank but you, some sir. Aggression here early. They want to pick onto middle. So what's the cue? Is it the B hit? Is it a sound cue? Is it a timing? Well, they're getting inquisitive now. Yes, indeed. And already a little peppering. No one's gone down, though. And full util set for Chopper. He'll be looking to utilize that. He's picked up the bomb as well. They did that dry. There wasn't a flash. There wasn't. They're just they're using their bodies here. Mm, I like the procedures they're using to clear apps as well. Just using bodies and boosts. Pre-fires, pre-aims. Oh, and they're starting to get spotted. Chopper has outlined just one. I imagine he's probably gunning. Yeah, the troops are all gathering. This could be a battle in middle. And Magic's from the boiler position with all that attention drawn. Oh, it's a massacre. Four, brown on blue in the kill feed. And Apex just scratching his head, wondering what on earth he's supposed to contribute into this round. He's making lots of noise. Disbalance will let his team know and convey that information that the duel is won. Clean. Very clean. That's a read gone wrong. Right, so that's them assuming it's just going to be a B hit, a B set piece. And the fact that, oh, hey, I'm in Boiler, I'm behind you, and you're now sandwiched between all five of our members, you could see how quickly Vitality were whittled down here. So they're in no man's land. If you find yourself this close to mid against the Glocks and they're ready for you, and they're coming from behind as well, well, the pressure, it's definitely mounting. So I just balance there. You can see the final kill. Apex will fall down. And oh, look at that. Wow. The fan cares watching with a little girl. Guy kind of looks like Steel on the right there. Oh. Uh, young Josh Nassan. Okay, well, look at this force bite. Look at how preferential the MP9s are. There's yeah. three of them in the mix. Kind of kind of hot. Interested to see how far it gets them. Vitality, full force, and we know how well it went for Spirit. They actually lost the second round force by. Now the new Vitality. The reason that uh, this round here is, is interesting is because normally you'll see CTs opt for smokes. So p pistols and smokes with armor would be the go-to because you can delay, you can whittle down that clock, you can make it risky, but maybe they want to bait them into a hit here. Yeah, it's definitely working. It's so loud. It's a lot of presence. There is no bomb and they're not getting the fights they were hoping for. Now they do. Zywu boosted up and he does confirm that the first and the second is working out for Vitality oh and they hunt them down, run them down. And now, unfortunately, SDY and Magics have got a lot to do and not a lot of time to do it. They're charging into way. The flank That's is in. Smoke. Yeah, they're screwed. They will wrap into A. Unless Apex and Masuta both just flop and with nothing. Oh, good shooting. Apex catching SDY. He will go down, but Magic's not too long behind him. So, Vitality, second round force by takes them back into control of the economy. Yeah, that is a very interesting approach there. Like I was saying, normally on the CT side of force buys, the CTs will opt to get a lot of smokes, normally five across the board. And you drop those towards top banana and the mouth of middle. That will delay the T's. It'll force them to play out a slower round, not knowing where the stack could come on in. But here it was like, well, there's no smoke. They're not fighting us. We need to see what's in there. All of those MP9s got a frag. Yeah. Every single one of them, they really paid off. And yeah, perhaps not just smokes and deagles for that second round force. It's a different approach. I'm seeing a Galil. That's a different approach. Yeah. He has managed to manu manufacture a win condition. <laughs> the Deagles are nice as well, but no utility makes this one so difficult. Look how stacked Vitality are. We've got Smokes, we've got HEs, a couple of Molotovs remaining here as they've already managed to get banana control. I say that Apex is tickled on down and almost falls. Zywu saves him, bails him out of a dicey situation. But that's one of the bigger changes here. Note, Zywu is now a permanent bee holder. I definitely, if you ever want a deterrent, that's the thing, a one-man band of Zywood just holding B. Apex, set him up, rotate wherever the Give hell you want. Give him a couple of hero rounds, he defends B. That's the rest of your T side, second guessing. I, I look at this Vitality roster, right? When you have somebody as good as Zywood on your team, he's good for one every single time. But when you set him up, when you give him everything he needs, he's probably good for one and a half, if not two kills, defending this B-bomb site. Ooh, okay, info, smoke. Will he hold the line? Chopper's coming. Precision, crosser, and spray control, all flawless. And so B is held. Zyru passes his first test. Even had Apex, the uh, substitute teacher, just showing up to make sure everything was going as planned, and it has. The suit has spotted SDY's shoulder in boiler, which does leave him... High and dry, doesn't really need to do too much. He's making a whole lot of noise on his exit. So they are once again just conceding and starting to gather their resources, what little remains to be. They have to die here. They need the 1900 loss bonus. So trying their attack onto the B site, at least they can isolate some jewels and find themselves in a two on two. But look at Zywu, 17 kills, jiggle peeking back at the site. Apex ready to flash on Apex call. Yeah, it's now? Really beautiful. 13 seconds, Zywu, you want to get on? 
Yeah, that's the pull flash, but anyway. Oh, ouch. Oh, good shot. And Disbalance is just hoping for a plan. He does need to die, and that is locked in. Apex will upgrade to, I believe it was an AK-47. They got two of those now into the CT side. Round three. Locked down. There's a cyber week on at the moment. Save big on team game and esports merch. I will recommend the mouse pad. I have successfully hit headshots on it at least once or twice. Apparently there's new merchandise, Alex. We've received an email. I even oh, replied yes. to it yesterday. I saw that. It was yeah. very nice. I like that you did because it's not like we were ignoring it. We just kind of missed it. Missed it. Yeah, the in my inbox actually looks like a it's trash a, can. It's a trash can. Yeah, mine's gross too. Um, RPK's got a little bit of a hesitance about that stop, Molly. Okay, so he's, he's pausing and he can hear the second mid steps now. He's ready to drop that and contain them. They're going through it. Oh my goodness, the lemmings. Look at the damage. Look at the lemmings. It's just so much damage. This one's over. <laughs> RPK just collects a nice little three. Mere hoping they run past him. They won't. And we have another. Vitality 12 on the first map. Now, I will remind you, if you've just tuned in, you're you know, just thinking, okay, we've got a, a standard series here. There is definitely potential for some funny business. Will we see Shoxy oh, we Jesus will. return to the server for Nuke? I'm excited about the prospect. The fact that we will see that Chet player chop and change a six-man roster utilized throughout a series. Now, this is the thing, right? If you missed Blast last week, well, you missed a lot of good Counter-Strike. And Vitality over there, they played five different maps. They played Dust 2 three times, Nuke twice, Inferno once, Vertigo once, and Overpass once. The only map we didn't see them play out of their six-map pool was Mirage. So I don't know what the rotation for the team looks like on Mirage, but I can tell you Nuke is the standard roster. Boom. That's a great nade. That really works out in the uh, T's favor. But they're going for an aggressive boost and onto the half wall. Zywu confirms. Oh, oh, that didn't sound right. That was uh, into his bum there. So Zywu's been doing squats. Screws up a Molotov. But now with the Deep Smoke arriving, he just holds his lines and... Team Spirit starting to prepare for their A Assault, or at least SDY and Magics. They've been quite a partnership here in clearing apps. Ever since the pistol round, they've denied it, and now Brackets is theirs. What's the next step? Util? Not much of it. Three smokes. That's all they've got. How on earth do they get into this site? Looks like it could be off the back of a single They're flash. Mid. Here comes the Biff. Nice frags. Patience pays off for SDY. Two of them fighting long, but they have been smoked off. Nivira, useless. Might have to move. That MP9 won't get him far. Masuta's holding firm. And a FAMAS is not the ideal weapon for that waterfall of firepower. Yep. Avoids the flash. Here they come. Does find Chopper. That's huge work from Masuta. A triple kill, no less. The round is won. Vitality, hold. The wolf from the door again. Looking for another. Magics. Looking to overcome the odds with 30 seconds. He does have time to play with, but Masuta ain't done. That's a quad kill. And he deserves that upgrade. Absolutely a Kalashnikov for what could be the final few rounds. Solid defense, and it puts Spirit on notice. They're onto 3k. That's no fun. Well, Nevera's just brought out the big green. We're about to see how this CT setup really looks, but I want to sing the praises of Masuda here for a second because earlier he was playing against uh, Astralis. I believe it was in the DreamHack Open event. And um, he had some really big games. Some, some of the, bi the biggest games I've actually seen Masuta play in terms of impact, right? In terms of his frag and caliber. The kid, he's the rookie coming into this team at the start of the year. He's starting to, to find his footing. And I think even having the idea that there's a rotation for... <gasps> that's no fun. That's not fun at all. That's a huge shot. I thought this was a, a given, and it is. Zywu mops things up. Yeah, but you know if you're Navira, like you saw him get the opening frag against Eagles and... You want him more? Yeah, but you know, he's like, more. well, you know he's going to peak. He's going to give me the fight I'm waiting for. Unfortunately for him, Magix is just sharp as hell. 20 kills for him. Yeah, he's been having a great game. Don't know what Chopper's got planned for us, and it doesn't seem like it's too much. Double kill for Zywu now. Puts it in his pocket. Magix, as sharp as he may be, he is only but one man and one mouse. Oh, hitting <laughs> shots like that. Maybe he has got a shot. Yikes. He's got a rail gun. Bloody hell, there's a rifle now that could be retrieved. What's Saiwu's plan to contain him? Throwing out the Util Deep Smoke. He has got a minute to play with. I wonder if he could grab that rifle or if he even needs it. To be fair, his deagle is looking fearsome. Oh, gap. Saiwu's ready. Problem solved. 14 for Vitality. Looking to close out Inferno. It's their map pick, but now cash back to Splash for Spirit. Yeah, so if we just have a look at the scoreboard right now, Magix is leading the charge for his team. 21 kills, and you're about to see, I'm sure, some of his highlights here. 107 points of ADR. The next closest on his squad, as far as ADR is concerned, is Chopper, the in-game leader, with 66. But the next closest in terms of frags is 11 for Idis Balance and SDY. So a couple more members needing to contribute here. And we said Mir needed to be a superstar. He needs to put in that level of performance if they wanted to have a shot against Vitality here today. 
the standard opening here. Addis Balance does have the AWP. We've got the default banana control coming through, as well as Boiler and Hall's already taken. Pressure could be on Nevera here early. Yeah, and I like the look of this. I think the scope's been heard. Because you saw them tap their S key when they, yeah, yeah okay. they were just backing up a little bit. Yeah, fair enough. They do go out, nice flashes to force them back, and now short is theirs. Look at these pre fires. That's the bomb spotted, but Zaiwu down. A huge change of pace. Now what do they do? You can see the call's been made, and they're wrapping around. Poor old Apex is screwed. They're so paranoid about A. Disbalance and Magics have wormed their way through. Now looking for info, and that's why SDY was ready for a dinky exchange. RPK does damage, but Apex is the one with it all to do. Oh, he's been heard here. Those tags have been heard. He's in so much trouble. Yeah, eventually found. Magics was waiting on that gap, and now into the site they flood. Has to be a save. There's no way back into this one, not in a five on two. Disbalance hasn't moved. He's been there for about 40 seconds, by the way. He's just locking down that long rotate. They're actually hunting. You can see this. They've already pushed down Banana. They're trying to take away as much space. Bomb has just been planted. The money is good for Vitality, but any financial damage that can be done as Mia gets a chance. At least that's info. Masuda survives. Don't speak too soon, Chad. Chopper's hunting too. Okay, yeah. Okay. Avoiding. Back to the safety of Pit. Yes, that sounds know. great. That we sounds like great. Pit. You take the bike. I'll go under the balcony. We could stay in halls. That works too. Just easier choke points. And, and it does seem like Chopper's hit the brakes here. They're putting down their guns. Phew. Okay. All right. Well, all in all there, uh, I think that type of a round is obviously only possible because Zaiwu, the superstar of the show, goes down searching all the way at T-Stairs. Now, look, they've got 14 rounds. They're up against seven. They're taking a couple of risks here. I don't want to be too critical of it. Imagine if you pushed and they all hit the back turn and Zaiwu gets a massive spray down. But that's how the round was won at all at the same time. Yeah, uh, and whilst Zaiwu knows the risk he's taking, he knows there's a coin toss involved. Um, you, you can't help as a Counter Strike player to be like, "Why is Mir still T steps?" Yeah. You know, there's part of you. you don't want to say it out. You're not what's saying what's it alone. Doing? You don't yeah. want to say it out loud. It's in the back of your mind every yeah. single time. Why is he doing that anyway? Uh, round twenty-three. Mir, speak of the devil, going for a much more aggressive stance to start us off. And Zaiwu, interesting, a CT smoke. Almost directly slap bang on the T1. What's the intention there? Looking for a gap, no longer available, and they can't exploit it. This is getting weird now. Mir has snuck behind enemy lines. Zaiwu surely got him dead to rights. He sprays him through, and just as the Molly fades, doesn't take a single lick. Molly for the escape. It's a second too soon. A smoke to try and bail him out. He's in trouble, or is he? Are they locked in there with him? I think they might be. Magic's down very low. 2 HP. Oh, we 4v3. That was an interesting duel. We don't know, often see that type of a fight go down in that fashion. I think that CT smoke was... They want to do a little half wall boost. I think they're trying to use that to catch Spirit going for logs and drop. But Zywoo aggressive again. Yeah, he has definitely got a little bit of a uh, ants in his pants scenario. It's cost him. Okay. But okay, I, the reason I'm less afraid than I, as I should be, of course this is a 3v3, is A, Magic's health, and B, the fact that Masuta has rotated over if they were choosing to commit to this. The Molotov implies they might be. Here they come. Masuta's got so much util. That's a perfect incendiary. I think they're actually a little ahead of it, but at least one of them. SDY can tuck into the site. Bit of a lone wolf. They will look to clear RPK, and that's what he was waiting for. Does land the shots necessary, and he's even found disbalance. Magic's with a very, very tall order. 2 HP, 1v2. As many players as he has health. And Masuta trying to be faked out. Will he get the timing? Oh! oh. <laughs> just as he swaps out from the scope, Nevera just crouches in and collects the 15th. Looks like Vitality are taking their map pick and even taking a timeout. Yeah, and that actually gives us a chance to bring up a little stat line that's come on through from uh, our stats guy. That's Ben, Mr. SEO, playing at home. He's uh, forwarded us this one, Alex. RPK has a career average of 2.8 utility damage per round. Now, he's been playing for a very long time, yeah. but... In this game alone, he has 23.5 per round as his utility damage. Okay, so there's definitely a bit of an upswing in uh, RPK utility damage. We were observing, of course, that Vitality have clearly done their homework against Spirit for yes. some of those early second round nade stacks. Uh, I think here, when we when we take a look at... But they're still so equal. I mean, Zywoo's got himself out an extra couple, but the, the kill spread, you said 65 average in that first half. It hasn't really shifted. Yeah, it's a good team effort right now from Vitality. And I think taking that timeout to kind of poise themselves to finish off the game here, I'm loving this as well. Not taking any chances, not taking any risks, making sure they button it up before we get to double digits. And back under where we go. I am in love with this new CT side from Vitality. I think the pieces in the places make so much sense. Yeah, Nevera's not interested in apps. Stop Molly does... Deter. 
Mia yeah, could be destined for a nade stack here. Ouch, it's Chopper that meets his end. Good nades from the CTs, and they can tuck in. Mission accomplished. Don't even need to fire a bullet or contest for this now. They have the man advantage, and they're happy to sit on it. Die with fully flash. Doesn't drop his smoke? Yes, he does. And Apex does have oh. a look, but Magix continues. He's got 26. This guy is rising. Rising star from the region. Really is not struggling up against the tier one opposition of Vitality individually. That's a massive kill in the context of the game as well, because if Spirit can get back into this one, by next round for Vitality, it's going to be a bit hodgepodge. They're going to have to maybe drop some guns across or take a couple of liberties, but they're gearing up back towards A. So Smoke from Magix is ready to fly on out. They've got player over towards Halls in SDY. Here's a Smoke as well. A couple of flashes to work with. It's going to be a two on four. Yeah, this is a lot of work for RPK and Masuta. Cut out. Holly, RPK doesn't have a Smoke, so he will reposition. Suits are tucked in on cold Sarah. The steps and the flashes are good, and just the tip of the head is all Mir needs. As he finds one, needs a second. It's Masuta, and the resistance was there. Temporary disbalance with the AWP. Connects on the trade. So now with only Zaiwu and Invera, they've opted to press the save call. And so it's tucking right call. into B. Yeah, look, this is the right call. When you only need one more round, they could force the issue. They could go for it. But imagine if the economy gets out of control, the spirit are back, Magix is hitting even more headshots. Things could start to fall apart very quickly. So then by isolating and getting that kill through the smoke, that's what it came down to. Magic's just finding a kill, forcing rotation and finding a gap. Good stuff here from Team Spirit. There's going to be the ninth on the board. Bomb's going to go off. They'll hold on to the AWP, the AK-47s. They'll be able to get the buy up going forward. But it's just one more round. So these type of games, it's a matter of time until you see Vitality limp across. Or we could be telling the fairy tale story of Team Spirit on map number one of IEM Beijing. That's six round come seven all round the way back. back. Yeah. yeah, I'm down. Now the T side is probably where we'd be more likely to see them do it here. But this trade from High Disbalance, that was it. If Masuda was able to get another, we found ourselves in a two on two, then maybe the round, maybe the round comes on through. But that's the frustration we'd have that at was, home, that right? That was Magix as well. There was, wasn't that Magix's frag onto Apex? I can't quite recall, but either way, a great frag that brought them straight back into contention. And they convert it well. They need a six in a row slew. Seven if you include what we just witnessed. And now Disbalance looking for a mid fight by Nivira. He's gone. Caught just in the hip as he deployed his utility. Disbalance had to spawn and he punishes them for it. Now it's Vitality that need to bring the fight. And it was a nade stack that initially got them that advantage. This time it's brought nothing but 20 damage. Trivial, really, in the grand scheme. Now this is the positive of having Zaiwu as your B anchor. Leave Zaiwu on the site with a smoke, with a Molotov. He has a flash as well. Apex is actually playing in limbo here. I reckon he's just going to throw that smoke and leave. Yeah, that would be probably the most optimal way of dealing with this. Just trying to remember the lineup. Look, there's lots of smokes to remember these days. I do not blame him whatsoever. That smoke right now is going to buy them until roughly 50 seconds. So Zywe gets a, a, a little bit of a buffer, but if he gets executed on, the position he's playing in towards CT spawn right now, he has two options. One, he can dip back towards CT and play the retake with his team, or now that he's transitioned into the bomb site, that means it's likely he wants to fight here. Smoke about to fade, drops his own. And should get them until roughly 30 seconds. And that means Apex can start to move. Zywu says, I've got about 10 seconds until it could be 1d4. Apex responds accordingly. Look at the positions I was going for. I always find that pool angle so interesting. It's just an off angle. The molly, good timing, shaving another 15. As the smoke does get deployed, Apex has his own incendiary. He can deploy it, a flash into the pool. This could be tough. They're running out of time. They still have plenty, but this is a full B commitment, surely. He Are they falling that back? with bated breath. RPK is about to have a field no day. Way. Oh, lordy, here they come. And RPK can't find the first. He does eventually. Chopper bests him, trades him. They're going for a pivot into A, and it's all on Misuta. And he's gone. They could actually do this. A last second adjustment into the A site. And with a second to spare, the bomb goes down. Apex did catch Chopper on the cross. Oh, Mira's yeah. pushed B. And Zywu's not ready for that at all. What a round. Apex has managed to find him, but he's just going to surely cut his losses. He's got a long and arduous task into the other side of the map, and he's just going to save the AK. Oh, if he knew the HP on Magic's and I just balanced now, he might even give this one a crack, old Apex. But the right decision again. It doesn't fill us with the highest levels of excitement here, but he's making the right call to get Vitality across the, the line. What's the timer at, Chad? Oh, I, 25, I'd say. I was just looking at uh, RPK thinking, how is he going to, uh, how many is he going to get here? I, I couldn't believe it. Oh, he was in a prime, prime position, but when you've got four, I mean, you really do need to be finding two before they, uh, the call has come out of their mouth. They'll be reacting so damn fast. Nice try, all the same. 10 to 5, or rather, let me try again. 10 to 15. This was the opening. 
really is a, a fraction of Navira visible, but Balance did find the first blood all the same, and that was Masuda's chance. So it was 10 seconds when they made the kill onto Masuda, so yeah, it must have just been a second. There couldn't have been much more in it. And right now, it looks like Vitality are taking a partial. It's the saved AK-47 for Apex. It's the upgraded pistols, which is three deagles. RPK not opting for anything extra. It's just going to rock that USP. Light little bit of utility. Nade. It's shy. Oh, well, he confirms his banana presence with a shot of the only saved weapon, hoping that would deter them away from B. It's unlikely. Now, this would just be a very apt way for Vitality to finish the game here. You know, all the Deagles get a kill. Apex grabs one, a bit of damage with the AK, and that's all she wrote because, look, they might take a couple of more risks with these pistols, and I say that they have been relatively risky on the CT side. So we were very aggressive down Banana, heavily rotating around. They're actually going to leave Apex with the AK-47 on the B bomb site. So that's the heaviest hitter. Now, he won't be able to do too much impact if they do continue this little shift walk up middle towards A. You can see four players waiting. One over towards Pit, one in the site, one deep towards Arch, and one back over towards the mini pit. That will be Nevera. But this could be dangerous depending on if they just go dry. This is great for Deagles. Sony wants some shabby. 27 frags, magics. No slouch, top of the same. Does find his first. It's Saiwu and Nevera. Does land the Trade. single deagle shot necessary? Admittedly traded, and so the numbers disadvantage continues to accelerate. Oh. What was that? A deagle, a $700 pistol, has just taken disbalance out. Seven grand lays idle now. T side or lost. Up balcony. Needs another deagle. Oh. Shot and Masuta hits it. What a way to make an announcement of his presence, Pit. He still lingered. 1v2 for Apex, and he's the one with the weapon. He has had a winnable round sent his way. One sight, one likely pit. That's the info he's working with. Doesn't have a kit. Oh, the step. Ah, uh, yeah, he has to be loud now. And has he just given up? Yep, he's, he's just turned right. tail. So two in a row, two 1v2s, Apex has chosen and thought better of. It was worth a look, right? I think Spirit were, were kind of shell-shocked from those frags going down there. That was Idis Balance coming up quad side with an AWP. <laughs> he just got flatlined there from Masuda. So great stuff. Magic's continuing this fragging spree. 28 kills for him. The rest of his team are chipping in slightly. Right? We've got Mir up to 14 now, 13 apiece for Idis Balance and SDY. Chopper with 12, maybe a jewel here for Apex. Sandy Wolf, come on, drops down there. That's not ideal, but money is looking pretty decent for Spirit now, and they have to buy every single round. Now, one of the keys is that Spirit have been getting into the bomb site and getting the bomb down round after round. The last three on the trot, all through detonation, and that is Give Jubilee's that wall, saves. Nivira. Give it to me. I'm not sure if he wants to take a risk again because we saw him get punished from Idis Balance earlier. Maybe he'll feel a bit, little bit more neutered right here. Those are the scores I was just talking about. So Magix is really doing a lot of work here with 28 kills. Look at the, the amount of bomb plant successes. They really have been getting a full round out of it. It's not been eliminations. They've been forcing Vitality to save, to retreat, or straight up just converting four of the last five. Now, this, unfortunately, the reality is they have to continue this consecutive spree. That's the difference, right? If you look at the spree of rounds from Vitality, they were all won from elimination. They weren't won by needing to defuse the bomb. So if you can deny them getting that site access, find yourself in a mid-round 2v2, not giving up the bomb site, maybe that's where Vitality can get across the line. I said it felt like a moment or just a matter of time. Well, scoreline 15 to 11 now in favor of Vitality still, but it's getting closer and closer. And the double digits is where serious business starts to go down. So. Utility exchange towards Banana, standard, but they're isolated. Yeah, this could be a really good chance, and Apex is the one to make the most of it. Quickly traded, Magic's no slouch, and actually, it's Zaiwu lingering. He's gonna oh. get both of them. That is so clean, and it could very well spell trouble for the remaining two. It's Disbalance trying to hunt down Zaiwu, but the smoke to aid his escape. The Molotov will achieve nothing. This has to be it. That should be it. Yeah, I'm starting to see SDY relocate all the way through second middle. They realize that losing three members on that banana ad aggress, especially the star of the show, the 29 Frag Magics, could this be the moment Vitality break through and convert their map pick? They'd have to get both of these kills cleanly here over towards Pit. 
you can see right now in Limbo, the Arch player, he's in Speedway ready to head over towards that B site. So they will get a 2v2 if they opt to go over towards the quad side. But I just balance. He's peering in towards Arch while SDY picks. Who spotted each other first? I'm sure Masuda saw something then. He just dropped his smoke. That's a confirmation in itself. Okay. Pit one, he says. Little does he know RPK's there too. That's the balance Huge. down. Nivira holds his nerve, and this is Vitality now one frag away from taking Inferno. SDY hoping and praying Nivira gets pushy, and he is holding back, Not giving him any moves, any room to maneuver. 16. Vitality take it, Inferno theirs. And now time to take a look at the sub bench and see who's coming up for Nuke Spirit Pig.